channel. My name is Sika and today we are going to talk about my favorite thing, gift giving. <laughs> and this video will be split in two parts. The first part is going to be about um, if you're not an artist and you want to give your artist friend the perfect present. And the second part is going to be about being an artist and making great art for your friends and family to give to. So let's get started. My first recommendation for the artists in your life is going to be to buy them brushes. Um, I love to use these ones. They're super cheap and a really great alternative for real hair brushes. And I use them for everything and they're a really, really great alternative to really expensive brushes. So I can recommend those. And for the digital artist in your life, I would recommend buying brushes online. I personally use Procreate to create digital art and I recommend these brushes to you to buy for your artist friend. If you have an artist friend, uh, you could make them a sketchbook. It's really easy. I made a tutorial here. And if you don't want to make it yourself, you can buy one. Even if your artist friend has a lot of sketchbooks, I feel like all of us traditional artists hoard sketchbooks. So it's a good idea to give them a sketchbook that you made or just got for them because it has a nice pattern or just looks beautiful in your eyes. If you have an artist that is a digital painter, um, they will need some accessories sometimes and maybe they don't have any. I would recommend buying them a fingerless glove. I don't even have it and I get annoyed sometimes that my hand gets stuck on my iPad. Or maybe it's a good idea to buy them a sleeve for their Apple Pen if they're using the iPad to create art. Not everyone has it and you can just look if they're using it and if not you can buy one. They're super cute and personalize their Apple Pen even more, especially if they have other artist friends and maybe they get mixed up. I love my Apple Pen sleeve so much. It's really disgusting now, so maybe I need a new one. <laughs> the next thing you could do is every artist has someone that inspires them and is a really big inspiration for them and I recommend looking up that artist and maybe buy a print for, from them for them. This is a really underrated gift I feel like because of course we artists tend to create everything ourselves but we have people that we look up to and I love getting art as a gift and I feel like every artist has someone that is really special and inspiring to them and getting them an art piece from that person is going to be so special and so such a kind and warm gesture because it's so inspiring and always a good reminder where you want to go with your art. <laughs> so if you have the money and know what artist your artist friend or family member loves, this is the best gift I think you can get them. And the last recommendation I have for the artist friend or family member in your life is getting them cheap art supplies from your local dollar store. I know that sounds very cheap and weird, but personally for me, I love using cheap art supplies and testing them out because I hate wasting a lot of money on supplies and I love trying out new stuff. So especially if you know they have never used that material, buy that cheaply and gift it to your friends so they can see if they like it or not. I love getting cheap art supplies and using them. You can see the set I got here. I got that one from Action and I've recently used it a bit and I really love it and it's very cheap and <laughs> some of the markers are dried out but I don't care to be honest because I've never used these kind of water markers before and <laughs> I really enjoyed playing with it. So maybe your artist friend will find something too that they've never tried out maybe never even considered trying out and then really falling in love with that kind of art supply. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that helped and I hope you got some ideas for gift giving for your artist friend or family member. And now, dear fellow artists, let's think about something together that we can give to 
to our family members and friends. First of all, of course, I think that's the obvious one, um, you can paint them something. I personally love painting the pets from my friends, family and co-workers because that's the thing they love the most and maybe I'm not the best one at animal drawing but I get in good practice and as you can see here I really enjoy painting animals and looking for a nice frame to give them to them. You could also draw a family member or someone they really find precious or maybe even just their favorite Pokemon and even if it's therapy like I draw I feel like Giving someone the gift of art is always a great present. Second thing you could do, I mentioned that for the people who want to give something to an artist, um, you could also make a notebook out of the sketchbook making method. The next thing I love to do is making some baking clay pins for my friends. I love using baking clay um, that you need to put in the oven because they bake perfectly and you can make such good cute pins out of them. I love making clay pins. I feel like they're so quirky and personal and it's really fun to paint them. You don't need to get a lot of supplies to make them and you can make a lot out of one packet. So <laughs> this is a deal where you can give everyone you know a pin that you have self-made and I feel like pins are very trendy right now and they can put them on their jacket or their bags and it's such a cute accessory where they will always think of you when they see that one pin because it's so cute. <laughs> like I love getting pins and I love gifting pins and I feel like it's such a great present. The next thing you can make, this is especially for the digital artists <laughs> that are watching this, um, is to make a wallpaper. I love drying wallpapers, it's a bit hard because especially for folds the surface is so long and small but you can draw something very personalized for them to use as their phone wallpaper. I love getting phone wallpapers and I love gifting them and I feel like everybody felt like this is such a special present. You will see it every day when you wake up and look at your phone <laughs> and before you go to sleep and look at the last time on your phone it will be there and it will always think of you while seeing that wallpaper. And it is very easy, especially if you have Procreate or something, you just use a very long canvas. Here are the specs that I always use. This works out perfectly fine and you can draw that. You can even make one for iPads. I normally use the screen size for my iPad. What you could also do is get some wooden slices and make some DIY ornaments or even paint some ornaments yourself. This is very Christmassy and it gives the Christmas spirit and you can put your own designs on these and I feel like these are very special for people who love decorating the Christmas tree and putting on ornaments. Also I feel like they would be a great decoration for gifts when you give them wrapped uh, you can put one on and it will look even more Christmassy. <laughs> if you have painted a lot of wooden ornaments, you can make a garland out of them that they can even hang up in their living room or in their bedroom after Christmas is done, especially if you haven't used Christmas themed pictures to paint. The last present idea I want to give to you is more for our crafty friends over here is um, I recently tried out punch needling and it's very easy to learn and the supplies are kind of expensive but you can make a lot out of one supply kit and you can make your loved one a rocket that you design and it's pretty easy to learn and you can make your own designs very easily and it's such a cute idea if you make small ones you can hang them on the wall like this one over there <laughs> They're such cute decorations, you can even use them to put your glass on it um, as decoration on your table. You can make even mini keychains out of them. But yeah, I feel like they're still cute and you can personalize them. Like I love to do animals for my friends and family or even just cow print because my friend is obsessed with cow print. I hope this video helped you to find the perfect Christmas present for your loved ones. And I hope maybe this gift guide helps you this Christmas season to not be nervous about giving someone a gift or maybe have some fun making some gifts for your loved ones. Like, comment and subscribe. 
Thank you so much for watching and being here. Thank you so much if you subscribed and if you enjoyed this video. I was kind of nervous because it's the first time I'm really showing my face and talking directly to you guys. So please have some slack with me because I'm still a bit new to this. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here. Pussy papa.